friends, and welcome to the Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. This is Thaddeus from Going Nerdy, and today I am going to talk about how to play uh, the probably the best Ewok team that exists in Phase 1 of the Tank Raid. Now, really, what this is is a deviation of the Brotini team. I can't seem to get the Brotini team to work properly, and... I was playing around with this, and, and I've made no secret of my love for the Ewok crew. I enjoy them immensely. And so what you'll do is you're going to see a, a Chief Chirpa lead with Logre and Tebow. Now, they are the my favorite Ewoks. I love Wicket. I think he's a solid Ewok character, but he's, he's really hard to get, and I don't have him 7-star. And right now, we're looking at P1 of the Heroic Tank Raid. Now, I've been playing this for a number of days off and on, and it's been driving me crazy because the P1 of the Tank Raid is one of those those phases that I really struggle with. I've, again, made no secret, Phase 2 is my favorite, but in trying to make a, a number of different tank raid videos and, you know, showing different teams, phase one is the hardest for me to get through. And like I said, I can't get my Brotini team to work properly. Um, but one of the things that I'd like to do is I like to find a team that is super effective. That's pretty awesome. And, and this was a lot of fun to play. Now, for those of you who don't know the trick to... Um, this event or the trick to this phase is when and how often you hit Grievous. Now, what you want to do is you want to get him to to the point where on the seventh attack, you are going to dispel 100% of his turn meter damage or 100% of his turn meter. Now, what's interesting about this team is it is a very heavy turn meter team. Um, everyone in it does some form of turn meter reduction. Han's basic does some really kick butt turn meter reduction. Uh, Commander Luke Skywalker does some also great turn meter reduction. His his basic and his special ability both do some serious TM reduction. But really everyone else, with the exception of Chief Chirpa, does TM reduction. Now, what's interesting though, is I am doing this under a Chief Chirpa lead. His leadership um, when it's Zeta, and, and I did Zeta this, uh, everyone in this has as many Zetas as they possibly can because it is my alt account. Um, Ewok allies gain 20% turn meter and deal 10% more damage whenever they perform a basic attack. These effects are halved for other allies. When an Ewok ally uses a special ability, 60% chance to call another random Ewok ally to assist. Now, um, what's fun about this is... Tebow, when he is stealth, does some serious TM reduction. It is 100% guaranteed TM reduction on a basic attack if he's stealth. Now, that's a big if, right? Um, as you can see, I'm. this is one of those teams that I kind of struggled with simply because you have to really time this phase out. You have to know exactly when to hit, how often to hit, and and when not to hit. Um, what's really cool about this, uh, it does give all allies speed up. Uh, uh, his, his special, uh, Chief Chirpa's special, gives all allies speed up for two turns, which I have Han and Luke pretty high. Um, so that's good, but giving them speed up for two turns is just that much better, right? That means they go faster. That means the uh, cooldowns and all that other stuff trigger quicker now what's what was tempting every time in this in this phase was every time chief chirpa came up i wanted to use his tribal ability which like i said grants all allies speed up for two turns but then calls all ewok allies and one random ally to assist now that's fine because again my random allies are cls and, and han and they all do turn meter reduction but if they're attacking on that seventh turn, it's going to trigger uh, General Grievous, his special attack. And so that's the thing that, that can be difficult. Now, I'm sure if I were to play this, I would be able to, to solo phase, phase one. Um, I, I tried some, some different things and I really, 
as much as I liked it, I also struggled with it. Um, one of the cool things too, I, this is definitely not one of those those teams where you can just set it and forget it and just let this run on auto. Um, I, I'll probably try it again just to see if that's possible, but I really don't think I I would try it on full auto because I, re- I just don't think that that's going to be effective. Um, low gray, I was I was able to get him up. He's I like low gray. I really do. I like the Ewoks. His hypnotize dispels all buffs and removes 100% turn meter from target enemy. Inflict days on all enemies for two turns, and this attack can't be evaded. Now, what's interesting is this is an attack. It doesn't do any damage, um, or did I don't didn't notice any damage. Maybe it did, um, but. So you have to be careful. I use this. I try to use this every time he General Grievous had that special ability up. Any time that he was going to get that multiple turn attack, I I tried to use this because it would remove 100% turn meter and negate that ability. Right? It, de- it debuff that. Plus, it would daze the other characters, which is really nice when you have B2 Battle Droid who gets triggered every time you attack him. Right? And so if he's alive. This is a really excellent move to use because it dazes him and the other two guards, which is nice. Um, you know, his, his basic attack is not great. Um, deals physical damage to target enemy and gain tenacity up for two turns. And if he, if an Ewok ally calls low grade to assist, they also gain tenacity up. So if, if on this basic, you know, an Ewok ally had called him, that would also gain them to nasty up, which is, you know, nice. Um, what's cool about this is, again, under uh, Logre's unique, his Shaman Insight, whenever an Ewok ally scores a critical hit, which they often do, um, Logre gains 5% turn meter, while Logre is active whenever an ally score an Ewok ally scores a critical hit. That ally gains health up for two turns, and then all Ewok allies with health up recover 10% health. So it, it keeps them alive for a lot longer and it keeps the viability of this team going, right? Because the Ewoks are pretty easy to take out. But with this, they're they're not solid. And in the end, I was able to bring them just below 35%, which is pretty solid. Now, again, I've seen them use the Brotini team, which is effective. And I've seen people uh, really solo this with, with with a team that's similar to this, really the main components, the thing that really makes this team super effective is CLS and Han. Han's double attack, double basic attack is solid and reduces turn meter like every time. Um, but he also has that op- opportunity to give, you know, uh, allies critical chance up, which is great. And then CLS really does some awesome uh, work when it comes to not only um, keeping characters alive and keeping them viable, but um, also keeping the turn meter in check of the opponent, and and that's that's solid. It, it's interesting to look back at like six months ago when people were complaining about Raid Han and and like oh he'll never have any use, you know Raid Han's not cool or he's not good, and then now man he's he's solid. He's he's a great character, and it's it's cool to see him being used in play because so many people were getting him and then just didn't, you know, didn't have anything uh, to do with him and didn't want anything to do with him. I remember when I got Raid Han, I didn't care. I wasn't that excited. And it was a cool milestone to to say, hey, got the Raid Han, but then not not a whole lot. But he's, he's pretty smooth. Um, he can remove... Tons of turn meter. He has a great counter chance, um, and critical chance is pretty smooth as well. So I'll let this play out, guys. But leave a comment in the section below. Let me know what you think. What teams do you use to to decimate P1? I want to know because this is one that I really struggle with. I don't like it. Um, and on my test account, I have some pretty solid characters that I'd like to start trying other phases in, but to get through phase one, I pretty much have to use Han Solo and Commander Luke. So what are alternatives that you use that I can try out and make a video on? Let me know. Leave a comment section below. Like, subscribe, share this video. This has been Thaddeus from Going Nerdy. And as always, my friends, stay nerdy.